Welcome to our lecture online. Our next problem from the JE main test deals with a circuit, and in particular a current divider circuit. So what is that? Well, even though they kind of have it set up as a delta circuit, and you might start thinking about delta to y conversion, that's not at all what it is. It's simply a circuit where we have current entering right here, six amps of current. It splits up at the junction here, one part goes in this direction, the other part goes in this direction, and then it comes out of here. They can recombine, comes out of here, so it's six amps of current going this way. What they want to know is what is the current in this branch called I1? And so let's read the problem and see what it says. It says a current of six amps enters one corner P of an equilateral triangle. The fact that the triangle is equilateral doesn't really matter. Uh, PQR having three wires of resistance, well, I guess in this case it does matter, they're not actual resistors there, we're actually measuring the resistance of the wires, which means that the length of each wire should be exactly the same, so they'll have exactly the same resistance. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so each of the wires has a resistance of two ohms each, and leaves by the corner R. The current I in ampere, well, I think we just need one current, the current I1 in ampere is... How do we do that? Well, it's a simple equation. We can say that I1, so, well, let's call it I1 right there, is equal to the current entering, let's call that the current I, times the ratio of the resistance in the other branch, I should write other, in the other branch, divided by the resistance of both branches together. And so in this case, we can say that I1 is therefore equal to 6 amps times, what is the resistance of the other branch? Notice the other branch has a resistance of 2 ohms, so that would be 2 divided by the resistance of both branches. Now this one has 4 amps and this one has 2 amps, so it would be 4 plus 2. So essentially that is 6 amps times a ratio of 1 third, and so we can say that I1 equals 2 amps. And so that's the way we should do that. That's simply what we call a current divider. We can calculate the current in this branch by taking the current entering the two branches times the resistance in the other branch divided by the total resistance of both branches added together. Another way to think about it is this. Notice we have 6 amps of current and part of the current goes through here and the other part of the current goes through here. So this branch has a resistance R2 is equal to 2 ohms and here we can say that R1 has a resistance of 4 ohms. So if this has half the resistance of this branch, this branch has half the resistance of this branch, then it should have twice the current. So we can say that I2 is equal to 2 times I1 and the sum of the two, I1 plus I2, adds up to 6 amps. So, if I2 is twice as big as I1, and the two together give me 6 amps, then it's easy to see that I2 should be 4 amps, and I1 should be 2 amps. So here's if I, I2 equals 4 amps, and I1 equals 2 amps, because together they add up to 6, and I2 is twice I1. So you can actually quickly see it like that, or you can simply use the equation. Either way, you get the same answer quickly, and you can move on to the next problem. And that is how it's done. Okay?